What's going on folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Guys, today's video we're going to be working on the sailboat again. Got the blind. We're going to be making the hide on it. And I'm super excited about that. Show you um, what I went with it and tested it out already. Spoilers. It looks great. So stay tuned for that. Um, but guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit that sub button. You don't want to miss out on the main gig of this channel. And that is putting out the waterfowl content from the beginning of September through end of February. Um, we got some awesome stuff already planned and in the books. Also guys, want to give you a reminder of the hunt giveaway. We're going to be doing the giveaway live on Elliot's from Freelance Duck Hunting's channel. Um, over there in the YouTube, it's going to be a live stream just like last year um, where we're giving a hunt away, Patreon. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to that. Like I said, Freelance Duck Hunting on um, August 25th. So you don't want to miss it. It's going to be good. All right, so here's the sailboat. Just as you guys remember, got my little helper today. Always fun to get um, the kids out doing some waterfowl stuff. Um, but we are going to be putting the blind on and brushing it all in. So excited about that. Um, we had it on the water the last video, so if you missed out, we've got three parts this series. Um, we got where I'm cutting it up, we got where I'm building it, we got where I'm testing on the water now. Um, this is probably going to be the last part before you see any hunting out of it. We're going to get it all brushed up, ready to go, and um, I'm excited about it because I think it's going to be a fun little vessel to use and hunt out of this season. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so like I said guys, here is the blind that I got. It is um, from Yak Gear. So Yak Gear makes a universal kayak blind. I just tested it on it. Um, you know uh, probably about a week ago but now i finally got the brush so i'm going to get that all situated on here we'll get it all wrapped up i'll show you that and then we'll get to brushing it so let's get it Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Well, there it is. Honestly, I mean that looks super sharp, especially for a uh, a universal blind. You know, it uh, it fits the size of um, what we're doing on this sun uh, the sun sunfish sailboat build really really well. So here it is. Um, the way it cinches on is it has draw strings all the way through it to the backside. You can draw them down. Uh, obviously, I have to like snip those down to to length, and then it has straps that go two straps that come from the inside and wrap underneath the bottom um and then back here i believe this is like your dog hide right here um but like with this it works out pretty good because we can have the motor come out right here uh, on the back side of this i don't know if that hole will be big enough for chief i mean i'd probably try it i'd probably try it there with him and then obviously we got brookie here sitting here in the in the layout part Ready to go. Lay down, Brooke. Mm -hmm. All right. You see the birds coming? Yep. They're going to see you if you're looking like that. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I'm super pleased with it. Uh, here's the instructions that come with it. You guys saw it came together super easy. The Yak Gear Ammo, Ammo, Ambush Camo Kayak Cover Blind. So, um, I mean, it comes out of the bag. You put it on there, and then you Velcro the flaps on and put a couple um, stabilizers in the door and you can just hook it right up to it. So super easy installation and um, really universal um, fits even a sailboat. So let's go ahead and grab some of this grass and we'll get to brush so here's the brush. I went with uh, Joseph Stern. I've been seeing that going around quite a bit lately. Um, if you're wondering, this is what 11 pounds looks like five rolls and i just went with the straight solid one color i don't really feel like it makes a big difference to go like multicolored and all that um really went to this just to be like make the blind look three-dimensional and then when you get to the spot you can add whatever type of natural cover is already there to it to kind of give your uh break it up a little bit you know not just be one solid color but for the sake of being cheaper i just went with one color because i don't think it makes a big difference so here we go
all right so there it is i used all 11 pounds to get this to where it needs to be um i do think i'll end up trimming some uh if i don't that stuff just hangs in the water makes it heavier than it needs to be especially when it gets icy um but yeah get rid of that stuff for sure and make sure it doesn't get caught up in the wheel bearings or anything like that so um but here it is guys honestly i think it turned out great it looks awesome and honestly i didn't have enough that was 11 pounds you can kind of see where um you know I, i've ran out on the doors here and then the back compared to the front i went overkill and then back here is a little skimpy but usually in the back you're pushed up against some brush anyway so it doesn't matter um as much so a couple things to show you on this yak gear ambush line um is they actually have a hole back here for the back of your kayak or canoe or whatever so it works out perfect for the sunfish build because that's right where my transom is for the motor so um, this thing would actually cover everything but i think i'm going to leave it open so um, i'm even considering getting rid of this piece here but um i don't know i might have to leave it because that'll push me a little bit further back um and you know in the meantime i can have chief sit here i'm gonna put burlap over the motor like i always do and yeah no it just turned out great brushed in great and i can't wait to get this thing out there and uh do a layout hunt for some mallards or wood ducks so i can tell you that this was going to be a budget build so i want to fill you in on all the numbers for the whole thing like i said this is good to go complete um raffia was 80 the um blind is 250 got the boat for free if you look long enough on marketplace do your due diligence you can get a good deal on them i've seen them anywhere from free not very often to like 100 150 200 300 whatever um so if you do your due diligence you can find them the motor and kit the motor was 160 and the kit was um 600 well i think it was 595 so um what's that put us at 665 plus oh i'm just gonna put a whole tally i'm losing track of it in my head but yeah so that, i mean that's about it the epoxy kit costs 150 bucks um and then we're just good to go so you guys tell me i mean i could have bought a high dollar um super nice layout uh, a real layout um or i could do it like this and i think this turned out pretty darn well now i'm not saying it's, it's definitely not as good <laughs> as some of those um that you can buy um, but you know if you're on a budget i think it's a good route to go um i'm super excited though the true test will be in season when you use it all the different things that come up but yeah, until then guys, I'm Jordan, Duck and Chronicles, and we'll see you guys on the next one.